Hello everyone, it's Benny, and in this video, we're going to implement our final two math facilities, matrices and quaternions. So, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to go ahead and create a new class for the matrix. It's going to be matrix 4F. And you can create other sizes, but this is the only size I really care about. So, it's going to only have one piece of data, a float double array called M for matrix. Now I'm going to create a constructor. I'm not going to take anything in, it's just going to initialize M to a new float array of 4 by 4. So, there's only two methods I really care about. Oh wait, getters and setters, of course. Almost forgot. So generate getters and setters. Select all at the end. There we go. I'm also going to create another getter. So public float get at, I guess? I, I just call it get. int x int y return m sub x and y and public float set and again, get insiders, nothing fancy. And uh, oh yeah, int x int y and float value. There. And matrix of x and y is the value. There. Those are getters and setters. Now I want to actually implement the methods that I care about if I want to... Oh, void. Not float. There. Excellent. Anyways, there's two methods I really care about implementing here. First off is init identity. It's going to take all the data in the matrix and set it to the identity matrix. And yeah, it's going to be just a little bit painful, but that's okay. So that's so how I'm going to do it. m sub 0, 1 is 0. And yeah, I'm just going to have to set every single element by hand. So yeah. <laughs> it... Fortunately, after I do this, I can copy and paste, but still. So now, I'm just going to set all the rows properly. There. And almost done. So yeah, this is just to the identity matrix. Pretty straightforward. So, that's the identity, and the only other method I really care about is matrix multiplication. I You could add other operators, but I found this is really the only operator I've used in my in my other implementations of this stuff. So, gonna be a matrix 4F, gonna multiply some matrix 4F, call it R in traditions, why not? And, alright. First off, I'm gonna create some matrix 4F for the result. So it's new matrix 4F. And at the very end, I'm just gonna return whatever the result is. So all the multiplication is going to take place in between here. The way I'm going to do this is a double for loop. And I know the size because it's a 4x4 four four matrix, that's how I'm getting the 4. It's not just a magic number. It's the 4j++. Plus plus. And yeah, I'm just going to straight up implement the matrix multiplication algorithm. If you know matrix multiplication, this should make some sense to you, hopefully. So I... wait. I did that backwards. I, comma j, is equal to some value. And here is how that value, or here's how I'm going to get that value. If you remember, matrix multiplication... Oh wait, people probably don't teach you it that way. Well, I don't know how you would intuitively recognize matrix multiplication. Just do it. I, I intuitively recognize it as the dot product between every individual column of the first matrix and every individual row of the second matrix. Wait, or do I have that backwards? Either way, that's how I think of it. So, I don't know how you think of it. Do whatever way makes sense for you. Okay, I, I don't control how you think. So, yeah. Either way, this is a calculation. It's not that hard. You're just... You're taking each individual column or row, whichever way you w want to think of it, and do doing... I'm sorry, I can't think of any other way. That's how I've always thought of it. It's it's how it makes sense to me. Oh well, I'm sorry. I failed you with interpreting matrix multiplication. This is why I'm not a math teacher. 
But yeah, this is how matrix multiplication is done. It's effectively the dot product between each individual row and column. I'm sorry, that's the only way I can think of it. And yeah, these are all the functions I really care about in matrices, for now. It's These are all... Well, really, these are all the real functions. The only other functions I really am going to care about is different initializations, like, kind of like this method. But, yeah. So, that's all for matrices. And one more thing, just really quick. Make this a matrix for F, and make it return this, just to make things easier. That way I can do something like new matrix for F dot init identity or something like that. So, yeah. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you learned, and I'll see you next time, where we will be discussing quaternions. Which, by the way, I'm probably not going to do a companion video on either matrices or quaternions, because, well, as I proved in my vector video, I'm not exactly a math teacher, so sorry. But yeah, hope you enjoyed, hope you learned, and see you next time.